In this lesson, we want to explain working with layers in Cinema 4D. This is used to sort and arrange objects. You can also control the object inside the layers. I have prepared a scene to begin with, which uh, includes light, a few spline, generator, deformer, and a few objects. We want to manage them. There are several ways. Clicking on the layer icon here opens the options. The first is add to new layer. This is the easiest way. The software creates a new layer for us and put the object in this layer. And the next option is a layer manager. If you click on it, you can see the layer manager here. In a layer manager, Beside the attribute manager, the attribute panel, there is a plus sign on this window that you can create a new layer by clicking on it. This is another way, but this layer is empty. You can also delete it with this delete button. Do not worry. When you delete a layer, the object inside it will not be deleted. Only the layer relative to them will be removed. The new layer has no object inside, as I said before. There are two ways to place objects inside this empty layer. First, you can easily place your desired object, even comments, by clicking and dragging inside. For example, I choose this light and clicking and dragging into the new layer. And the object get the color of the new layer. And you can change the color simply by double click on the icon to open the color selection window. And easily you can change your layer color. Okay, we create a new empty layer. The second way is to click on the icon in object manager and select desire layer from here. Painting layer. This is one of the easiest way to uh, arrange the layers, an object in a layer. For example, uh, this object hold mouse on a desired layer. For example, uh, we choose a layer for this layer and hold the mouse on a desired layer and click and drag on any object that you want to be in the same layer. Okay. To rename the layer like the rest of the software, double click on its name and change. And another remove from layer. Click on icon, an object manager, remove from layer. Used to remove an object from desired layer. As you can see. Okay, when we add uh, a parent in a new layer, its child are not added to a layer. So they have to be given to the desired layer one by one. When the desired layering was done, we can do some control on the layer and the objects inside them. As you can see, there are letters in the front of each layer that represent something. The, the letter S means solo. By clicking on it, only that layer and the objects inside it will be seen in the viewport. And even the rest of the objects will be dis disappear from object manager. Okay. Letter V means visible. Clicking on it, the object inside the layer disappear from viewport, but inside the object manager, they are still visible. The letter R means render. Clicking on it will be make the object inside the layer disappear from a render view. Okay. 
The letter M means object manager. Clicking on it will be removed the objects inside the layer from the object manager. The letter L means lock. By clicking on it, the objects inside that layer will be locked and can no longer to access and change. Letter A means animation, to disable animation in the object inside the layer. For example, this cube. When we play the animation, it has a simple animation. And clicking on it will be not run the animation again. Disable it and play. And as you can see, the animation not play. The letter G means generator. Clicking on it will be disable all green commands known as a generator. For example, this extrude command. Notice that the layer is given to a parent, I mean extrude command, not the spline. The letter D means deformer. Clicking on it will be disable all purple command known as deformers. For example, this band command. In this case, note that the layer is given to the parent again, not in the band. Okay, letter E means expressions and letter X means Xref, which should be explained in the future lessons, not needed now. Okay, you can even use a parent and child system inside the layer manager. You can child some layer under another layer just for sorting layers. Okay, layer menu in a layer manager. New layer option that created new blank layer. New layer from selection which is exactly as the same before with add to new layer. And add object to layer to add selected object. We select the object from object manager and select a layer. We select a layer, desired layer from layer manager. And we hit the layer add to selected object and move the object into Select a layer. Edit menu. With delete, we can delete all layer. We can delete uh, selected layer. Delete all. Delete all layer. Delete unused layer. It's very useful to delete the layer that has no object in it. Deselect. Select all, you can select all layer or deselect all. And you can invert selection. Okay, when we select a layer, by selecting this option, all layer except the selected layer are selected. This is invert. invert. The select option from layer, that's very useful. Select option from select uh, from layer option that selects the objects inside that layer for you. As you can see, you can find the object in object manager and the viewport. And the view menu is to display the letters we described. As you can see, you can remove these ticks and they do not display in the layer manager. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.